Immortal John Hancock here with a product review of Level Hikes HDMI cable adapter for the Neo Geo AES and CD consoles. Level Hike recently has unveiled a bunch of different cable adapters for retro consoles, and I'm going to be in this video talking about the Neo Geo one. So I'm going to unbox it, compare it with several different hardware units and games. Let's check it out. Level Hike HD cable comes with three separate pieces. First, you have the actual adapter that goes into the back of your Neo Geo console. That plugs into the back of your unit. On the actual adapter itself, it has a 4369 switch. So you can keep the original aspect ratio if needed. It also is powered separately, so it does come with a micro USB cable. You can plug this into a TV if you have a USB port or you with a wall plug, you can plug it in that way. That's the way I used it. And it does come with an HDMI cable. These are being sold for 40 bucks. These are the games I chose to compare the Level Hike HD cable to composite. I tried to pick different types of games, platform, shooter, sports, fighting, to mix it up. And I hope you enjoy it. The Level Hike HD cable is compatible with both the Neo Geo CD and the AES home console. Since I have the US and Japanese models of the AES, I'm going to use the Level Hike HD cable on both of them and share my results. Now, there's some information about RGB and the quality you're going to get from different Neo Geo consoles from GamesX.com. It's pretty important to note that different consoles, different versions, are going to have different results. I definitely noticed a different result with this HD cable between my Japanese AES console and my US AES console. Now, compared to standard composite, the Level Hike HD cable looks great. Now, I did notice vertical lines. That's right. If you look really close on the right hand side, the Level Hike HD cable is outputting these vertical lines on my Japanese Neo Geo AES console. It's kind of frustrating. I did notice them and it bugged me. One of my all time favorite games, Samurai Showdown 2. I thought I'd compare the Level Hike HD cable to the composite. It looks significantly better, but if you look really closely, you can notice vertical lines. And so this is something that was consistent with the games that I tested on this particular unit. Now, you know, for some people, it may not bother them. But for me, especially, you know, playing on a bigger screen, it's definitely more noticeable. So, you know, this is something that is, it, it's not Level Hike's problem. The problem is, is the hardware variations of the Neo Geo AES home console. So, depending on what model type you have and serial number, your results are going to vary with this cable. So, it does look better than composite. Composite looks terrible. The Level Hike HD cable looks significantly better, but I did notice vertical lines. And so, it's it's just frustrating you know it's just something you know you want to plug and play you want it to look great and it's it's noticeable and something i need to mention it's not all bad news because the level hike hd cable worked fine with my us model console and i thought i'd show a comparison here side by side showing the difference there's no vertical lines on the right hand picture but on my Japanese model, the Level Hike is definitely displaying vertical lines. Very frustrating. The cable does look great on my US AES home console. Compared to composite, no comparison. You know, last resort, great shooter. This game looks excellent with the Level Hike HD cable. As you can see the detail, this is a good game to compare the differences especially against composite there was no vertical lines the picture looked very sharp 
Uh, I, I thought the color palette was accurate. And so I, I think this is a great option if you have the proper Neo Geo home console model and serial number that's compatible with it. If you do have compatible hardware with this cable, it looks amazing. And this is another game, a great example of how well and awesome it can look. It's brighter, better color, sharper than standard composite, you know, and that's that's just the great technology that we have in this day and age. You can take these simple plug and play cables, hook them in to, you know, hardware that's very old and it looks awesome on a modern day television set. So unfortunately there's a compatibility issue with this cable. So it's kind of a gamble and it's hard for me to totally recommend this cable for everybody because it's not going to work with some models out there. And so with my early serial number of my US home console, it looked fantastic. And so this is a comparison between composite and I was happy to see such a great picture on my screen, especially this is an awesome game, by the way. And I'm happy to be playing this timeless classic. This cable works great with the Neo Geo CD unit. Now, if you don't know about the Neo Geo CD, it has long load times, making many games frustrating to play, but the picture looks great compared to standard composite. Hands down, looks fantastic. There's no vertical lines, no compatibility issues that this cable had with the AES version. And so, fantastic, great to see that it works great. Another great comparison is Aero Fighters 3 with composite. It looks so much better on the Level Hike HD, you know. And, you know, it's kind of frustrating with the Neo Geo CD. I wish that the load times were better. But once a game is loaded, many games are awesome. This is a good example of that. And it looks, looks fantastic. So if you have a Neo Geo CD, that's the Neo Geo you have. You're in good luck because this doesn't have the compatibility issues it does with some of the other hardware. And so fantastic to see that this Level Hike HD cable works awesome with the CD unit. And so, you know, 10 times better. It looks sharp, great color, great picture. This is a good example of how well this cable can work. It's nice to see the picture look so awesome on a modern day TV. Again, the cable's 40 bucks with the link below. Ah, well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is it works great with the CD unit that I had. The bad news is most of you are probably wanting this to work great with your AES home console, and that's going to vary. And of the two units that I had that were working properly, this had varied results. And so my US model AES home console, it worked great, looked fine. My Japanese one, the one that's more common, the one that's cheaper that more people probably have, well, that had vertical lines in it. But it depends on your serial number and your model type because there was a lot of hardware revisions of Neo Geo AES home consoles over the years. And so, gosh, it's going to be really tough to determine what works and what doesn't. I had two units to test and the results varied. So at this point, I have to say it's kind of a risky gamble to see whether or not this is gonna properly work for your Neo Geo AES home console. Just being honest, doing an honest review here. Hope this informs you to make a decision if this cable is for you. This is one of two reviews I'm doing on Level Hikes HDMI cable adapters. I also did one on the TurboGrafx-16. So the link below is to that. I hope these videos inform you on how well they work. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. I had a lot of fun doing this video and playing on my Neo Geo hardware. Thank you so much for the support. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. This is the immortal John Hancock. You take care. I have some amazing complete collection videos planned upcoming as well as more product reviews. Check out my backlog. I have over 600 videos. There is something for everybody. Looking forward to do many more videos. Take care.